Hello, everyone, and welcome to Police Off the Cuff, Real Crime Stories. I'm your host, retired NYPD Sergeant Bill Cannon. You know, under the category of you can't believe this case, I think this is one of those cases you really can't believe. Uh, Joshua Hunsucker was previously charged with first-degree murder in the death of his wife, Stacy, and he's awaiting trial. Uh, He's also been accused of poisoning his then 10-year-old daughter with the same eye drops uh, substance he allegedly used to kill his late wife, according to court documents. Uh, Inmate records show the suspect was arrested on Tuesday, August 6th, by Gaston County Police. He was previously accused of allegedly killing his late wife, Stacy, who died on September 23rd, 2018, at age 32, and he is awaiting trial. A North Carolina paramedic accused of using eye drops to kill his wife is facing new charges, this time involving his young daughter. Gaston County Sheriff's Office inmate documents show Joshua Lee Hunsucker, he's 39 years old, was arrested on Tuesday, August 6th, by Gaston County Police, with a total bond set at $1.5 million. Per court documents stated August 5th, uh, Hunsucker is facing four counts of felony intimate witness charges and four counts, excuse me, of intimidating witness charges and four counts of misdemeanors, misdemeanor obstructing justice charges. A motion to revoke Hunsucker's bond filed by Special Prosecutor R. Jordan Green and District Attorney Travis G. Page on August 6th stated the suspect had engaged in a pattern of harassment directed at his now former in-laws, John and Susie Robertson, who were witnesses in their daughter Stacy's case. The motion also accuses him of poisoning his daughter, then 10, with the same eye drops he allegedly gave his late wife Stacy before she died at age 32 on September 23rd, 2018. I mean, this is in the... In the area of can you believe this, can you not believe this, just absolutely outrageous. And uh, trying to kill someone with eye drops, and the active ingredient is tetrahydrazoline. And apparently it works upon the organs, and it will shut down your organs, and it's it's quite effective. But that's what he's being uh, charged with. And let's go to the local news report on this. Well, new tonight, the Gaston County man accused of killing his wife with eye drops in 2018, then setting a helicopter on fire and faking his own kidnapping, is facing more charges tonight. Court documents just show the new allegations against Joshua Hunsucker include poisoning his child and harassing the parents of his late wife. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre has been going through the newly obtained court documents all day. Jesse, a lot of disturbing but new details there in that uh, paper there. That's right. Now, according to court documents, Joshua Hunsucker's 11-year-old daughter was hospitalized last year, and the same substance found in eye drops that killed Stacey Robinson Hunsucker, his late wife, was also found in his daughter's system. Now, documents say Hunsucker's goal was to try to take the heat of the murder accusation off of him and to pin it on Stacy's parents. Now, with all of these new accusations and charges, prosecutors want Hunsucker's bond revoked. Joshua Hunsucker back behind bars, now facing four counts of intimidating a witness and four counts of obstruction of justice. This is on top of the first degree murder and insurance fraud charges he is facing in the death of his wife, Stacy Robinson Hunsucker, in September of 2018. Two days after her death, Hunsucker filed to collect on her $250,000 life insurance policy. Hunsucker was arrested in December of 2019. Prosecutors say he poisoned her over time with a deadly amount of a component found in eye drops. He had been out on a $1.5 million bond since December of 2019 with electronic monitoring. Prosecutors now wanting that bond revoked. According to new court documents, in February of 2023, Hunsucker is accused of poisoning his daughter by using the same substance that killed his wife. 
Attorneys say this was an attempt to pin his wife's murder on his in-laws. Prosecutors also note several incidents of harassment and intimidation. This includes Hunsucker routinely taking pictures or videos of Stacey's parents, the Robinsons, driving by their home, sitting in the parking lot of the church the Robinsons attend, and making inappropriate gestures at them. Many of these actions done in front of his daughters. His behavior towards the Robinsons was noted to have become more and more aggressive. Now, prosecutors filed a motion for Hunsucker's bond to be revoked. The state says it is concerned that Hunsucker's dangerous actions will continue to escalate. Now, Hunsucker could be back in front of a judge as early as next week on this motion. I did reach out to both uh, to attorneys on both sides of this case, but have not heard back yet. Now, you can find more details on this click on, on this case, including a detailed timeline now on WCNC.com. Back to you guys. So crazy. I mean, first of all, the original charges in 2008, uh, he was he killed, or the, he allegedly killed his wife for an insurance policy, a $250,000 insurance policy. And here's a thumbnail of the happy family right there. Uh, you know, this goes under the category of things that you, uh, that you really can't make up. I mean, uh, it just it seems outrageous that you would first of all tetrahydrazoline it's a uh, a chemical that's found in eye drops but apparently given to someone over time uh will cause their death and apparently that's what it did uh with his wife and now his diabolical plan to try to pin this on his on his in-laws and while harassing them I mean, I would be very surprised if his bond is not revoked, which it is now, but uh, permanently uh, threatening his former in-laws. It just doesn't uh, make any sense. And then when they find the same uh, tetrahydrazoline in his daughter's urine that they found in his wife's blood, it's just horrific that this is going on. He's trying to poison. Well, he, we allegedly killed his wife, and now he's using the same substance to try to poison his young daughter. Uh, I think the community needs to be protected from this guy. Father accused of killing his wife by poisoning her drinks with eye drops. Investigators accuse Joshua Hunsucker of setting fire to a piece of equipment while inside a med center helicopter. WCNC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner reports this arrest comes as Hunsucker awaits trial for felony murder. He joins us live now from East Charlotte with the latest. Brandon. Well, Sarah, before this building beyond the trucks was constructed, this was actually an empty lot where a Med Center Air helicopter made an emergency landing on November 22nd, 2016. It was just after midnight when this radio transmission came through. Hey, do you have any calls referenced like a helicopter? Landing on the side of Independence Boulevard. It was one of Atrium Health's Med Center Air helicopters. One of the crew members, flight paramedic Joshua Hunsucker. Looks like it's landed over here for some reason. That reason, we're now learning, according to CMPD, Hunsucker set fire to a syringe pump while the helicopter was mid flight. No one was injured. A few weeks later, Hunsucker was arrested for felony murder after investigators say he secretly placed lethal amounts of visine eye drops in the drinks of his wife, Stacy Robinson Hunsucker. The main ingredient in eye drops is known to damage organs and cause death if ingested in large amounts. Prosecutors claim Hunsucker killed his wife to pocket $250,000 of her life insurance money. At the time, Hunsucker's attorney, David Teddy, indicated they would take this case to trial. We anticipate that this case will be uh, strenuously opposed. A trial date hasn't yet been set. Stacy's parents also filed a wrongful death lawsuit. That case is also pending. Though that helicopter incident took place a year and a half ago, an arrest warrant wasn't issued until this week. Unsucker faces one count of felony burning personal property. He's already bonded out of jail.
And apologies, that date is actually November 26th, 2019. I spoke to Teddy today who is not commenting on this latest charge. I also spoke to someone who knows Hunsucker and supports him and says that these allegations are not true and says that Hunsucker will be found not guilty when these cases go to court. Live in East Charlotte, Brandon Goldner, WCNC Charlotte. Just an incredibly, uh, it goes under the, as I said, the category of you, would you believe this? Can you actually believe this? It just seems so, so outrageous that this could have actually occurred, that uh, someone killed their wife with eye drops. Uh, when, you, when you think of that, of what's in eye drops, tetrahydrazoline, and it, it, it actually is a poison and can cause someone's death when fed to them in, in large amounts over a period of time. And that's what he appeared to do, was he fed this to in his wife's drinks over a period of time, and it did cause her death. So um, besides the, his motive, which was a $250,000 life insurance policy, his conduct in awaiting trial and intimidating his in-laws and trying to pin this case and the case of him poisoning his 11 year old daughter trying to pin that on them also it's it's uh it sounds of someone who's not of much sound mind uh that someone that could kill someone if he if he actually did do this that's what's it's alleged he killed his wife and then he's now in the same way the same Modus operandi, trying to do the same thing to his to his young daughter, uh, just absolutely outrageous. Line, a man who allegedly killed his wife by poisoning her with eye drops is now accused of doing the same thing to his 11 year old daughter. We're breaking down the latest charges with the North Carolina police chief and a local reporter who's been following this story very closely. Welcome to Sidebar, presented by Law and Crime. I'm Elizabeth Milner. We've got a crazy crime story for you today that crisscrosses the last eight years. It's a lot to go through, but we've got you covered. In September 2018, Stacey Hunsucker died from cardiac arrest in Mecklenburg County, North Carolina. She had been a preschool teacher and a paralegal in the Charlotte and Mount Holly areas of the state. She was just 32 years old and shared two children with the defendant. According to prosecutors, her husband, former paramedic Joshua Lee Hunsucker, had her body cremated almost immediately after her death and then filed to collect on her $200,000 life insurance policy. That raised red flags for investigators. Since Stacy had been an organ donor, a blood sample had been taken and was able to be tested. Stacy had a large amount of tetrahydrazoline in her blood. That's the chemical that's found in eye drops. When it's ingested orally, it can attack the nervous system and even work like a neurotoxin. They also can reportedly lead to heart failure. Prosecutors believe Hunsucker put a large amount of eye drops in Stacy's blood over a period of time. According to a court filing, prior to her death, the defendant told two former co-workers that if he killed someone, he would do so using Visine or other eye drops. In December of 2019, Hunsucker was arrested and charged with first-degree murder, insurance fraud, and obtaining property over $100,000 by false pretense. He posted a bond of $1.5 million on Christmas Eve of that year and had been out on bond ever since. He had to wear a GPS monitor and abide by a curfew. Court documents give us a better idea of the accusations against Hunsucker. In addition to murder, Hunsucker is accused of defrauding the insurance company. To wit, the defendant did submit false or misleading information to the insurance company, the independent order of Foresters, Foresters Financial, by stating Stacey Hunsucker's cause of death was due to mitocardial infarction, when it in fact it was due to homicide by poisoning. Un unbelievable it's it's this is uh very difficult to believe but as you could see his actions during this and after this i think shows of course premeditation shows motive because he wanted that uh uh life insurance policy that his wife had and then he tried he's trying to pin it on his in-laws just absolutely outrageous uh you know very, very hard to believe. Folks, if you want more of Police Off the Cuff Real Crime Stories, just go on to this site, the, 
www.youtube.com slash at police off the cuff. You can join our, our channel and you can also uh, watch all of our videos. And if you want to join us on Patreon, it would www.patreon slash police off the cuff. And just to become a member of the police off the cuff site, just click, click that subscribe button and join the police off the cuff family. Folks, I want to thank everyone so much for tuning in. We'll be following this case because it does go under that you can't believe this. So everyone, have a wonderful night. I'm Bill Cannon from Police Off the Cuff, Real Crime Stories. We'll see you on the next one. One episode, just ain't enough.